So, hello and good day everyone. So, for today's video, I am going to discuss the Rule 35 or Sound Signals and Restricted Visibility. So, without further ado, let's start. So, Rule 35, Sound Signals and Restricted Visibility. Uh, in or near an area of restricted visibility, whether by day or night, the signals prescribed in this rule shall be used as follows. Paragraph A. A power-driven vessel making way through the water shall sound at intervals of not more than 2 minutes, one prolonged blast. So with that being said, if we are making way through the water, we should sound at intervals of not more than 2 minutes uh, until we stop. And paragraph B. A power-driven vessel underway but stop and making no way through the water shall sound at intervals of not more than 2 minutes to prolonged blast in succession with an interval of about 2 seconds between them. So with that being said, um, if uh, our vessel is underway but stop and making no way through the water, we should sound at intervals of not more than 2 minutes and 2 prolonged blasts in succession with an interval of about 2 seconds between them. So paragraph C, it says that if a vessel not under command, a vessel restricted in her ability to maneuver, a vessel constrained by her drop, a sailing vessel, a vessel engaged in fishing, and a vessel engaged in towing or pushing another vessel shall instead of the signals prescribed in paragraph of this rule sound the signal prescribed in paragraph A or B of this rule. So uh, with that being said, if our uh, uh, vessels is involved to upper mention uh, uh, categories, um, we need to sound uh, at intervals of not more than 2 minutes, 3 blasts in succession, namely 1 prolonged followed by 2 short blasts. So after uh, I discuss the previous paragraph, uh, I will just move or jump on to the paragraph G. And so um, if it says that if our vessel is at anchor, um, we shall um, sound at intervals of not more than one minute and ring the bell rapidly for about five seconds. And after that. Uh, it should be followed by the gong and we should uh, also sound it rapidly for about 5 seconds in the after part of the vessel. So paragraph H. Uh, vessel A ground shall give the signal and if required, the gong signal prescribed in paragraph G of this rule and shall in addition give 3 separate and distinct strokes on the bell immediately after the rapid ringing of the bell. A vessel a ground may in addition sound an appropriate whistle signal. A vessel of 12 meters or more but less than 20 meters in length shall not be obliged to give the bell signals prescribed in paragraph G and H of this rule. So, um, with that being said, if, um, uh, a vessel is 12 meters or more than or more but less than 20 meters in length um, we are not uh, obliged to give the bell signals prescribed in paragraph G and H however if she does not she shall make some other efficient sound signals at intervals of not more than 2 minutes so paragraph K a pilot vessel when engaged in pilotage duty, may in addition to the signals prescribed in paragraphs A, B, or G of this rule. So, so with that being said, uh, if a vessel is involved or engaged in pilotage duty, and if our vessel is um, at anchor, we should sound the uh, hotel plug or the pilotage plug, or we should sound the for short blast.